I've included in this video the comm key the wiring of the central office lines to the system. We will start at the central office mainframe. So the white paper I have here is the phone numbers, the line equipment, and the cable pair that they will be tied to. This information will be transferred over to my cable records book once I'm finished wiring. Here is the prepared end of the three conductor cross connect and I will be wiring this down. In a step by step office you have three wires for each line circuit. The tip, ring and sleeve which is a control lead to complete the circuit between the line equipment and the connector. There's also other things that's done um, in the connector for busy test and so forth. I've wired down the sleeve lead now I will wire down the ring and then the tip. Once I connect the other end to the connector, which is the actual telephone number that I've assigned, I will run an additional cross connect from the tip and the ring of these two pins over to the cable pair that the comm key will eventually be connected to. Alright, so here's the other end of the jumper wire. Now the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. So the telephone number, if you was to dial it, would complete through and you would get a ringing signal. I will wire down the remaining jumpers and then show the frame jumper for the line going to the comm key and then the wiring at the comm. Here's a close-up of the connector block. Presently I have straps installed uh, between here and here, here and here and so forth. And that is how the telephone number is being sent to intercept because it's not been assigned. I will remove them straps and then lay down my frame wire and that will complete the circuit between the connector and the line equipment. Here are the four lines that's connected to the F1 cable that's heading over to the building where the comm key is located. The protector block on the left side that has the black coils in it is what's called the number one cable and there are 400 pairs that's connected to two 200 pairs that go over to the building where my single line phones are located. The protectors that is on the right hand side those are cabled over to my 1A2 key system frame that's mounted here in the central office. Here is the horizontal side of the mainframe. Here's the other end of the tie cable. This is the third 100 pair group that comes over to this building. The comm key phone system is connected to the four pairs of pair 221 all the way down to 224. And this is the IDF for the single line phones, switchboards, and so forth. 